Danielle and this is Morgan and today we're going to be making biofuel in the Sweet Home Biofuel Products Biofuel Processor. This processor can make up to 100 gallons of biofuel in 12 hours. However, today we're only going to be making 25. Now Morgan's going to tell you about uh, the history of Sweet Home Biofuel Products. Okay, to start, Sweet Home Biofuel was founded about six years ago. There are six employees and it is located in Everson, Washington, even though they have sold very many across the country and to five different countries. So the first step in making biofuel is collecting the oil from restaurants. What we do is we use used fryer oil and we ask the restaurants to keep the containers the same and put the container in the box that they bought it in and then pour their used fryer oil into the container. Then we pick it up from them at no charge. What this process does, it recycles the oil from restaurants, and then it also recycles the cardboard and the plastic containers. These plastic containers can fit, when cut up, about 100 in one of these barrels, which also helps us reduce our carbon footprint. Once we get the oil from the restaurants, we need to put it in an oil barrel, but first of all, we need to strain out all the solids. So, in order to do that, we place bricks vertically in the bottom of the barrel and then place the strainer slash grate on top of them. To prepare for the oil to go into the barrel, we need to put on a lid, which is already pre-cut with a circle for the next strainer to go into. Then we put the next strainer right here, and this is where we pour the oil from the restaurant. Restaurant oil, there are two layers. This layer is what we call the gravy, and there are particles and moisture from the food. And this layer is the good oil that we use. When we dump it through the screens, we are filtering out the gravy from the oil, and we use the bottom screen to do so as well. The ingredients that we use to make the biofuel are, are separated oil from the fryers, methanol, and potassium hydroxide. The first step in making biofuel in our biofuel processors is plugging our biofuel processor into any 110 outlet like this one. And then we add the potassium hydroxide into the automated potassium dispenser. Because we are using an acidic product, we all safety precautions need to be followed such as wearing protective gloves and protective eyewear. Now, the amount of potassium that is needed depends on the titration of the oil. Okay, so to begin making biofuel in the processor, we're going to need to turn it on by turning the red button to the right and then setting our temperature at 116 degrees by using these up and down blue arrows. Once the temperature is set, you press the red set button. As you can see, there's also a red 65 on there. That indicates the temperature of the pipes currently. Now the next step is loading the methanol into the processor, which more will do. Our next step is to put the white hose into the methanol barrel. Then press the white load one button. This will bring two gallons of methanol into the reactor tank, which flushes out the system. Then it will automatically, for your convenience, go to the methanol, start pumping into the methanol tank. When the desired level is reached, you press the load one button again, and that will start the mixing load. Once the methanol and potassium hydroxide are mixed together, we're then going to start loading in the oil from the barrel that's already been settled. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pump about 25, gallon, or 25 gallons of oil into the reactor tank by pushing the load two buttons. Now that we have 25 gallons plus two gallons of methanol in our reactor tank, we're now going to take the methoxide mixture and pump it into the reactor tank by pressing this process button. Now that the methoxide mixture is in the reactor tank, we're going to start the process of transestification by pressing the yellow process button. 
this process will <clears throat> circulate the mixture through the fractionator and heat up the mixture as well, completing the transesterification process. Now that the process of biofuel is complete, we're going to drain off the glycerol, which is the byproduct. You're going to get about as much glycerol coming out of the biofuel as methane, methanol, that you put in. Now that all of our glycerol has been drained from the biofuel, we're going to talk about some of the different uses. This is a waste product, but it is also biodegradable. However, we, we generally like to recycle everything. So, you can use it for pest management in your gardens, weed deterrent, putting it on your gravel or dirt roads to reduce the dust, and my favorite, making soap, which is what we're going to do today. So the first step is adding 16, or 16 cups of glycerol and heating that up to 175 degrees Fahrenheit. Now that our glycerol has been heated up to 175 degrees, we're going to add our 4 cups of hot water and 40 grams of lye into the 16 cups of Once that's in there, we're going to stir it thoroughly for about, and heat it for about 20 minutes. Okay, so now that our mixture is, has been heating up for 20 minutes, we're going to add a little bit of scent to it. You can add any scent you like. Today we're going to use some peppermint oil. And then just stir that around. So, I'm just going to pour some of this in there. Now, once that's all done cooling off, you can cut it into squares and make little bars of soap. You're going to have to let this sit for about 7 to 10 days and just let it cure. And after it's done, you have your bars of soap. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and learn how to make biofuel and Sweet Home Biofuel Products Processor. If you have any questions or interest, please contact us at sweethomebiofuel.com or at our 800 number.